What is up, Guru Gang? If you are new, thank you so much for clicking on to today's video. If you have been a part of the gang, thank you so much for coming back and tapping back in with me. So today, you guys, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Um, I wanted to have this video up in July, but it's been a crazy summer, y'all. So these are going to be my favorites from the past couple of months. So get you a snack, get you some wine, girl. Have me playing in the background while you're cleaning up your room, whatever you need to do. I'm here because this is going to be a chatty little favorites video. These have just been my favorites from the past couple of months, things that I've been loving while I've been traveling or just things in general that I've been loving this summer. So y'all know I will have everything categorized, linked in the description box as well. So if you do choose to shop any of these items, I greatly appreciate it because those links directly support me and it takes a lot of work to link all of these items. So yeah, I greatly appreciate you guys and your support. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna actually start with my perfumes. I feel like I normally do my perfumes last. I could be wrong. I don't know. It's been a while since I've done a favorites video at this point. It's been a couple of months. But I'm going to start with my perfumes. So the first one I'm going to start with, you guys watched my latest Arabian Fragrance rating video. I did rank a bunch of Arabian fragrances that I think are bomb for this time of year. And this one has just been, I have been wearing nonstop, layered with the second one that I'm going to show you guys. So the first one is going to be Oz Nam Gold. This is by Latapa. This is a dupe for Oriana by Parfum Samarly. And when I tell you guys, this is a spot on dupe literally the only difference is like i said in that video this lasts leagues longer than oriana okay like this just gives me such a sexy feminine fluffy beautiful girly just i don't know something about this just embodies like feminine girly energy like this is definitely a Barbie type of scent. Like if I were to do a perfumes Barbie would wear type of video, this would definitely be in there. And this just gives kind of like powdered sugar, marshmallow, raspberry candy. But there's also that orange blossom in there that makes it a little bit more grown up and mature. So when you wear this, you aren't smelling too like, you know, kid like, child like. Of course, you can wear whatever you want when you want. But I just feel like this is just a grown and sexy marshmallow done right. And like I said, it lasts forever. And I have just been loving this one. It's been getting me a ton of compliments. So like I said, y'all, go ahead and grab this before they choose to hike up the price like they always do. I think when I bought this, this may have been $30 or something like that. So I don't know how much it is now, y'all. But of course, I will have it linked so y'all can check it out. But yeah, that is Aznam Gold by Latafa. Been obsessed with this literally since I bought it. Next one, right? This next one. This one... This was a love at first sniff, y'all. And I'm gonna try not to go too deep into this one either because like I said, I have a whole video talking about this and a bunch of other Arabian fragrances. If you guys want some recommendations, I have a part one and a part two, uh, but I do recommend you check out the part two because that one has more, more appropriate hot weather type of fragrances. This one is Ana Abiyed Poudre and this one is definitely my favorite from the Ana Abiyed range. This is just such a beautiful, powdery, creamy, vanillic must type of fragrance. Um, there is also a little bit of caramel in here and it just kind of gives like this whipped cream vibe, but it also has this really clean, beautiful, feminine musk. And I have been layering this with the Osnam Gold to just kind of create this really pretty, girly, like feminine bubble like i just feel so cute and just you know i don't know it's just one of those scent combos and this scent in general is just one of those you feel confident without doing too much like i can easily throw this on to go to the grocery store or to go out you know what i'm saying like you can literally make this work for anything i've been layering it with a ton of different things and it's just a beautiful fragrance all around to layer with or to wear by itself but I think this is just a bomb layering fragrance. If you enjoy those sweet, powdery, vanillic type of fragrances, again, that is a scent profile that I really like. So take that with a grain of salt. But if you like those very sweet, powdery, vanilla, musk type of combo, it almost kind of reminds me of something that would come from Narciso Rodriguez, like how he just has those kind of heavy, musky powdery fragrances like this kind of reminds me of something he would come out with and i really really love that so yeah if you have not picked this up definitely pick it up girls only like 23 dollars. if that is your scent profile if that is your aesthetic that's what i love would it be called aesthetic since it's a scent i don't know girl but y'all know what i'm trying to say like my, your taste okay if that's your taste if your taste is like mine 
I definitely recommend checking this one out. So yeah, that is Ana Abiyed Pudre. Okay, y'all. Now this next one, this is a recent, another newbie that I have just fallen in love with. And I do have a perfume haul coming up soon, y'all. I just have not gotten around to it. So that is also coming. So stay tuned for that. But this I've had for a couple of months now. And I decided to finally start wearing it since it's just been really, really blazing hot. And I've been wanting like these refreshing fruity but classy fragrances like that's just kind of what my vibe has been so this is bdk passessoir please excuse my nails y'all i'm about to go get my nails done so please just do not stare at those but yes this is passessoir by bdk um i will have the notes on the screen by the way because i cannot remember right off the top of my head but i'm just going to kind of give you guys the vibes of what it does for me when i wear it this is a massive compliment getter okay like i can't remember i want to say this was i want to say demi rawling talked me into getting this and now there's an x straight version which i absolutely will be picking up because i love this so much the only thing is i feel like the longevity is not the best for what it costs so i'm hoping that with the x straight it's like a stronger more longer lasting version of this i'm say this is like a dupe but think in the realms of Goldfield and Banks sunset hour or like Valentina Donna born in Roma it kind of gives kind of like those sparkling sweet fruity vanillic type of scents but this just smells so classy and chic like this just smells like you are going to some sort of brunch on a Riviera or you're going to like some brunch on the water and you're overlooking like a sunset or a sunrise and you're sipping champagne like that's the vibe that this gives me I just feel like easy breezy effortless but also super classy like I can definitely see this being worn with just some sort of beautiful flowing dress but the wind is blowing and you've got your hair up in a pony you've got some beautiful earrings on like that's the vibes with this, okay? So that's why I've been loving this this summer. And as you guys can see, I have put a nice size little dip in here for me to just have recently got this bottle. So absolutely have been loving this this summer. Definitely recommend you guys check this out. Um, there are a couple of other fragrances that I enjoy from BDK as well, but I think for hot weather, this has just been the one that I have been gravitating towards the most and I've really been enjoying it. So yeah, that is Passessoir by BD. Okay, y'all, let's start to get into some other things. So I actually want to start with some travel essentials. So let's get started with the bag that has been literally my go-to bag for all of my adventures this summer. And it is from the brand Base. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to pick this up, y'all, because I put all of my favorites in this bag so that I wouldn't have to keep taking stuff out. But Oh my god. This is the base weekender bag. As you guys can see, this thing is huge, okay? Like literally, so this is the original weekender. Um, I know there's like a smaller version, and honestly, if I had known that this one was going to be literally bigger than my body almost, <laughs> I probably would have opted to get the small one. But what I'm thinking is I'm gonna go ahead and commit to get the small carry-on roller suitcase that matches this because once I have a suitcase that rolls to sit it on top of that I can also carry on, it's gonna be like the best carry-on combo, right? So this bottom little part right here, you can put your shoes in, it's zippable. I wanna say you can actually take it off completely. I could be wrong, but I wouldn't wanna do that because that's the whole purpose of the carry-on to like make good use of your space, right? So yes, yeah, so you put your shoes in the bottom. It's got a lot of compartments. It's got like a laptop sleeve in here as well. And it's just super, super convenient, y'all. It's super chic. Like it just looks luxe. Like, this is just one of those things that makes your airport outfit pop. Like you just look like you have it together when you're using this, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and commit to get the roller of this. I really like this neutral color. I'm all about neutrals in the summer. At some point, I will probably get a black set as well because black is just my comfort color. But yeah, in the summertime, I do try to do more neutrals, lightweight colors and things like that. So yeah, absolutely have been obsessed with this on all of my travels, it fits everything. And yeah, I definitely re recommend this bag for sure. I would probably say though, some of you guys might wanna start out with the mini weekender because it's like a little bit smaller than this. And this one is just huge, but I don't 
mind having a big bag. It's just, if you don't have something to set this on top of going to the airport, girl, it might be a little bit of a struggle for you. So y'all, yeah. my next travel essential that I have been just obsessed with, like even when I'm not traveling, this wireless um, portable charger. So this particular brand, the one that I got, I guess is sold out, so I will link a similar one because just the concept alone is just bomb. You can literally charge all of your devices on here, like my phone, I was able to charge my phone, my camera, um, something else on here, I for totally forgot. Oh, my headphones, like my wireless headphones, I was able to charge all of those on here. But what I find myself using this for the most now <laughs> is when I'm actually walking around my house doing things and my phone isn't charged, but I don't feel like leaving my phone in the charger, right? Like I'm one of those people and I'm trying my best to work on this. I'm one of those people that constantly has to have my phone in my hand because I just feel like I need it with me at all times because you just never know what's going to happen. But I'm trying to work on not doing that. But also it's a lot harder now that I have this portable charger because I just find myself charging my phone randomly throughout the day. So I highly recommend these and just having one in your purse because you just never know like when you're going to need to charge your phone and if there may or may not be a charger available. So yeah, I absolutely cannot live without this thing right now. And like I said, I will have a similar one linked in the description box for y'all. Okay, y'all, the next little travel essential that I did not know that I needed is this little pill organizer. So look how it kind of folds out, y'all. So this fits so much and I'm definitely, y'all know, I don't play about my supplements, I don't play about my vitamins, so it's kind of sectioned off. So what I've basically been doing since I've been doing a lot of kind of like turnaround trips is I basically put all of my vitamins for each day in these little smaller compartments and then the things that I might need to take multiples of or like ibuprofen or just random things that I might need, I'll put those like in the center. So some of the other stuff I'm gonna show you guys, I will put those in the center and you just fold it up and you literally can just throw it in your bag. Y'all, this has been such a game changer for me. So you don't have to feel like you gotta travel with a million pills or if you try to like travel with all of your pills in like one little plastic bag, then you get them confused and you don't know what's what. The only thing I wish is that these, like this would have come with like a little labeler, like little label stickers. I wish it came with that, but I do have my own that I can just make. I just didn't have time when I was using this. So yeah, I absolutely love this. This has been coming in handy all summer. And honestly, I've been using it even when I'm at home because it just makes it so much easier to take my vitamins for the day instead of having to open up a bunch of bottles and do it every single morning when I'm on the go and things like that. So yeah, and it also comes in a bunch of other colors if you're not really feeling pink. So speaking of carry-ons and things on the go, y'all, these little bottles right here, these are so freaking bomb. So they're silicone leak-proof, three fluid ounce TSA approved carry-on bottles, right? So they're silicone, so you don't have to worry about them like popping or bursting or getting scratched or whatever, or breaking if they're like glass. And basically just screw this part off and you can uh, you can fill it up with whatever. So usually what I fill this up with, I try my best to not take any full size products and things with me when I'm traveling because I have a very irrational fear of like my bags getting lost. So I try really hard to always have carry-ons. So my body washes, I'll maybe fill like two of these up with like body washes that I might wanna use on a trip. And then I'll fill a couple up with like body lotions and then my tree hut shave oils like I'll put in here and also body oils y'all. So the way that it comes out, this part does not leak but when you squeeze it, it just comes out. So y'all, this is so convenient for body oils. Like I, I even have, it comes in a set of four I believe. And I even have one of these in my purse right now just with like my hand lotion because it's just, it's super convenient and easy to use and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So yeah, I'm super, super happy to have these. I actually wanna get a few more just to have like, you know, different colors or whatever because they come in this really cute neutral set that I want. This is just the only one that was like same day delivery at the time. So I got this set, but either or y'all, I absolutely love these things. They came in so clutch over my trips over the summer and yeah can't live without these now. here are just like some little tub versions as well so i was using these for like my thicker um night creams and things like that for my face or just like body butters that you might not want to like take the whole tub for like filling these up with those so yeah y'all 100 percent recommend these little silicone little travel um containers like these also hold 
a lot more than you would imagine. Like I ended up coming home from my trips with still a lot of product left in these and the bottles. So they definitely hold a lot more than you would expect. Like when I was filling them up, I was like, oh wow, like this actually fills up a lot. So I ended up having to dump some of the product back into some of my bottles, especially for like my shower gels, cause I just did not use as much as I thought I would. So yeah. Last little travel item, and this is something I've actually hauled on my channel before, but they have just been coming in super clutch this summer again because I have not wanted to travel with my full size perfume bottles because I am just super, I would cry if I broke a full size bottle in something. So just to be safe, I just use these atomizers and these are these little black um, atomizers, the twistable ones from Amazon. Again, I will have these linked. I've had these in my Amazon storefront for a while, but I figured I would reshare them because I've just been using them so often and I absolutely, this is Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid, by the way. This is just like one of my favorite summer fragrances. But anyways, I have been using these because when I'm going out or just, you know, like I said, I do a lot of carry-ons when I'm doing that and I wanna have a lot of options. It's so easy to just fill up a bunch of these and not worry about it and you can decide what fragrance you wanna wear. And also when you're going out, these fit perfectly in a small purse. So I would find myself grabbing two and three of these just to bring with me to touch up my fragrance throughout the night when I was going out or throughout the day. Like, I just love these and they just look so bomb. You can also get these in gold as well as like a few other colors, but I think I'll probably get the gold ones at some point. But for now, I just really like how sleek the black looks. Like it just looks very dis discreet. It almost kind of looks like a lipstick. Like you would not no, this is a perfume from looking at it. Of course, unless you are a perfume girly, that's a whole different thing. But yeah, absolutely love these black atomizers. I just love the shape. I love how they hold so much more than those little tiny ones with like the clear thing where you can see what's in there. Like I like those and all, but I just feel like these hold more. And once I fill this up, I'm good to go. I don't really need to go and do a whole bunch of backups and all that other stuff. So yeah. Absolutely love. Okay, let's go ahead and get into some health and beauty items, right? Because that's what most of y'all are here for. But again, this is an overall favorites video and I don't always focus on just the beauty stuff. Y'all know I try to give y'all a little bit of variety. So these are the Onyx and Rose Morning Person Gummies. Now I feel like I have shared these before. I talk about Onyx and Rose on my channel a lot and I am also an affiliate with them. So. I will have my link in the description box again for these individual items, but also know that if you guys use my code BOHOGURU, all caps, I believe you get 20% off on top of any sales that they're having, which they normally always have sales. So <laughs> these are the morning person gummies. So these are CBD gummies, but they're in a smaller dose and they're equally balanced out with caffeine. So when I am trying to cut back on caffeine in general and I'm not drinking coffee first thing in the morning, what I have been doing is chugging a glass of water with my greens powder and then eating one of these. Y'all, when I tell y'all I have energy like way past lunchtime when normally I would be dragging, okay? So these only have 50 milligrams of caffeine in them, but they also have 25 milligrams of CBD and then 50 milligrams of CBG, which is another form of CBD. Um, but just so y'all know, these do not contain THC, so it's not like, it's not something that's going to make you high or whatever the case may be. I know there are just a lot of misconceptions with what CBD actually is. So yeah, I just love these because it's just a natural source of energy and they also help me focus a lot. And I just feel like they just give me a clean boost of energy throughout the day without that coffee crash. And I really, really like that. And they also don't taste bad. There is a little tiny bit of kind of like this filmy aftertaste, but it, it goes away as long as you drink some water right after, like it doesn't bother me. I would much rather have the benefits than be, you know, than be tripping over a small, slight little aftertaste, you know? So yeah, these are the strawberry flavor. This That's the only flavor that these come in, but they do have like sleep gummies and things like that in, a, in um, other flavors if you guys are interested. So again, I will have their information in the description box for y'all. And yeah, okay, moving on. Next favorite thing, one of you guys actually put me onto this. So I remember when I was talking about the Smart Mouth mouthwash and how obsessed I was with that for the longest time before I replaced it with my new favorite mouthwash. But one of y'all left a comment in one of my favorites videos and told me that Smart Mouth makes mint, 
when I tell y'all I ran to Amazon so fast to get these so these are the smart mouth dry mouth dual action mints it relieves the sticky dry mouth feeling y'all I don't know what it is but this summer no matter how much water I drink no matter no matter how much I brush my teeth or whatever I drink my mouth is incredibly dry and I read somewhere that that has that's kind of a common thing if you live in very humid areas, which I live in Georgia, it is extremely humid here. So I was like, okay, I gotta find, I gotta try something, right? Like gum wasn't working. I just felt like my mouth was just dry and I was just parched, y'all. I don't know what the science is with these, but when I tell y'all these cure my dry mouth like that, like of course they freshen my, my breath, but they just like if you're out drinking or something and you're you know partying or you feel like your mouth is dry even if you drink water these are just so easy to just kind of like like just pop it in there and it literally tastes kind of like it tastes like a mint right but i don't know it just automatically gives your mouth this like cooling sensation and the dry sticky feeling just goes away so yeah i love these y'all especially after some coffee or you're just on the go and you just want to make sure your mouth like i'm one of those people i really like for my mouth to always feel fresh or else i feel some kind of way <laughs> so these have definitely helped with that and i absolutely love these and definitely highly recommend next thing this is actually going to be in my empties video so i'm going to try my best not to go too too in depth but when y'all see it in my empties video just pretend like you didn't see it in here okay but these are the goalie pms relief gummies y'all First of all, I will say the taste is not great. It kind of gives me the taste of like a chewy cough drop, like the honey lemon cough drops. Like that's kind of what it tastes like. The taste is not good at all. But if you can get past that, it's not, again, it's not like something that's going to make you want to throw up, but it's just, it doesn't taste like candy, put it that way. These have been such a lifesaver for my past few periods, y'all. Like I am someone that has very extreme PMS to the point where I barely can get out of bed the first day or two and I'm just extremely drained. I just feel horrible. These, not only did they help like with my mood and stuff, but they also made it so that my cramps were not as extreme, my back pain, like my bloating, literally made my periods extremely manageable to where I could still live my life and function which normally my periods are not like that. So I feel like I shared these on my community post a couple of months ago maybe. Um, and a couple of you guys bought them. So I definitely, you know, I appreciate you guys for using my link. But I highly recommend y'all try these out. They were super, super new around that time. So there weren't too many reviews. But from what I have been seeing, a lot of people have been enjoying these as well. And I definitely recommend you girls check them out. I would say start taking them a few days before your period so that the herbs and things like that have enough time to start working like in your system. Um, but yeah, otherwise, absolutely love these and I will definitely be repurchasing them, but they will be in my next empties video. So y'all are gonna hear about them again. <laughs> a little health related item before we go ahead and jump into the beauty stuff, girls, because I know that's what y'all wanna see, um, is this bomb little tongue scraper. So y'all, this is a four pack. So um, I've given one to my mom and I think I just have one that I use for travel and then I have one in my bathroom right now. So. This is what it looks like. They all come individually wrapped. So this is a metal um, stainless steel tongue scraper. Now y'all, I literally was not checking for this at all, but if y'all have watched any of my prior empties videos and prior favorites videos, y'all will know I was obsessed with the Grin little plastic tongue scrapers. I don't know what's been going on. I don't know if they got posted on TikTok, but when I tell y'all for the longest time, I could not find them and I did not feel like ordering them. So I ended up having to find an alternative because I'm like, I'm not about to keep going through this when I ended up going through my tongue scrapers because I could never find them in my Target anymore. I saw um, Kira on um, Monique using one of these and I was like, yo, I need to try this out. When I tell y'all, this scrapes every last drop off of your tongue like, these things are amazing. Like I literally keep one in my purse just so I can use it after I eat lunch or something or if I've been drinking again. This also helps with that kind of like dry mouth feeling because if you have a lot of buildup on your tongue from like eating and things throughout the day, that can also make your mouth feel really dry. So I absolutely love this. All you do is rinse it off, wipe it down and you can just keep reusing it. And it's just a lot more earth conscious than the plastic ones that I was using before. So now I just feel like 
I'm doing my part for the environment. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, those are the, I don't even know what this brand is, girl, but I have a link for y'all and you can get, you don't have to get the four pack. I think I just got the four pack because I'm always doing the most, but I think it comes in single and double as well. So yeah. Okay, girls, let's go ahead and get into the beauty stuff before y'all bite my head off. So let me start with the one lip product that I have in this video. And then we're gonna start moving into the body care and facial. Care. Ulta Beauty, this is one of the juice infused lip oils. This is the pineapple one. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I have been absolutely obsessed with this. Like it tastes like pineapple juice, right? And I'm not telling y'all that I'm just over here eating it, but if I was, mind your business. Um, when you put it on your lips, it just tastes like pineapple juice. Like, and it gives your lips this nice, juicy shine and it's not like sticky it doesn't sit on top of your lips and it just feels good it looks good you just have a nice juicy shine like this is one of those easy throw on and go and you don't have no makeup and you just want to make your lips look hydrated and kissable you know what i'm saying so as y'all can see they just give you a nice little i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more like you can't overdo it with this because it just your lips absorb it so it just makes your lips look extra juicy and shiny you know what i'm saying so yeah there's a bunch of other colors but there's a bunch of other flavors but so far my personal favorite is this one and then there's a peach one that i really like and it has this really pretty peachy glow i feel like the yellow one shows up more sheer on me and i just like the pineapple taste the best but the peach papaya i think is the other one that i really really enjoy as well and they're super affordable y'all like compared to like the dior lip oils and things like that i think these are like ten dollars so you can definitely stock up on a few of these as opposed to getting one from like Dior or somebody else. So yeah. now when I was in Miami, this was definitely one of my favorite products to use. This is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc Shimmering Body Oil. This one is the small one and honestly, I recommend you just get the small one, right? Because I got a small one of these for the very first time maybe a year or two ago. When I tell y'all it lasted me like two summers, like i didn't have to re-up until this year so don't feel like you need to splurge and get the hundred dollar full-size bottle unless you just want to girl that's on you but i feel like this perfectly works for vacation because it doesn't take up too much space or if you just want something to kind of give you a nice shimmer when you're at the pool and things like that like let me show you how this one shows up on me because i know there's also the soleil um I really wanted the rose gold one, but that one has been sold out for a while. But just so you guys can kind of see how it shows up, it's just a really nice, pretty sheen. And I typically will mix this in with like another body oil. Hopefully you guys can see that. You can kind of see like the shimmer. But yeah, I usually will mix this in with another like really moisturizing body oil. Whoa. Sorry y'all, I think the sun kind of like disappeared behind a cloud or something. So it just got a little bit dark in here. Hopefully y'all can still see me. Um, but yeah, I usually will mix this in with another like moisturizing body oil or body lotion because I will say I would not recommend putting this on top of just like unmoisturized skin. Like I wouldn't say that this is a moisturizing oil if that makes sense. So I find myself mixing this with the next oil <laughs> that I'm gonna show you guys um if you want something to be a little bit more moisturizing this is more so think of this as like a highlighter for your body like you don't just put highlighter on bare skin normally you don't um you would want to put it on after you put on your primer your foundation things like that so yeah that's kind of how i treat this oil and i really really enjoy it so yeah that is the tom ford Sole blanc shimmering body oil oh i also didn't tell you guys how it smells i mean if you guys aren't familiar with how Sole blanc by tom ford smells it's basically kind of like set the standard and set the trend for kind of like those beachy coconutty sunscreen type of white floral scents. It's just really pretty. It smells really classy. Like you literally smell like you're wearing a white bathing suit on a yacht. Like that is what it smells like to me. And it's just a perfect summer fragrance. So yeah. The next oil that I'm going to show you guys that I have been absolutely loving and I will probably finish this before the summer is over. This is the Boom Boom for Mesa um, oil by Sol de Janeiro. This, it came with a pump, which is why I actually bought it to begin with, but I have since lost the pump, have no idea where it is. I wanna say I left it in Miami, I really am not sure, but I have not been able to find the pump, so I've just been having to use it, but it's all good because honestly, I'm a little heavy-handed when it comes to oils anyway, but y'all, 
Of course, I already love this because it has the Sol de Janeiro Churrosa 62 scent, but I just feel like it just smells so sweet. It just has like this truly caramelized macadamia nut type of scent. And this is something else that I love to mix in with any of my fragrance combos over the summer. It just automatically gives it this very sweet caramelized base. Y'all, when I was going out, I would layer this with either the Tom Ford Shimmering Body Oil or the other, um, so de Janeiro has the Glotions, the Glow Motions or whatever, the Copacabana Bronze. I would layer it with that one, which also kind of has like this vanilla type of scent. I was shimmering, smelling good. My skin was soft, like y'all. I will say though, this is supposed to be like a skin firming, skin tightening, um, de-bloating type of oil. I can't really speak to any of those properties. I just like it for the moisturization benefits. So I can't say that it made me less bloated or anything like that. Like I really wasn't checking to see if it did that, but it definitely made my skin very glowy, very moisturized, melted into my skin flawlessly. So yeah, I can definitely see myself going through this and picking up another one. It is a little pricey, but I just really enjoy it and I can definitely see myself picking up another. So yeah, that is the Fermeza oil from Sol de Janeiro. And ending this Sol de Janeiro train, um, this is something else I've just been obsessed with and I actually just picked up the newest one, the Beja Floor. They have that one in the little jet set now on the Sephora app. So when I do my next beauty haul, I will probably show you guys that hopefully in the next few days. But this is the Sol de Janeiro Charosa 62 Jet Set. Set. Now, as you guys can see, this is not the actual Charosa 62 body butter in here. This is actually the Rio Radiance one. And this one's okay. Um, honestly, I would just probably much rather just repurchase the Charosa 62 and mix in some sort of shimmering body oil with it because I do like the scent of this. I just, I don't think it like wowed me enough to repurchase this one over that. But it's just a really pretty tropical coconutty type of scent. Um, and this is the one that I ended up buying as like my backup if I ran out of the Charosa 62 body butter, which I did because I'm just very hand, I'm just very heavy handed with that kind of stuff. So yeah, I just put the Rio Radiance one in here, but I just love these because as you guys can see, it comes with the moisturizing little shower gel and it comes with the little tiny fine fragrance mist. So I found y'all that I was just reaching for this a lot. Like I was using the body mist in my hair a lot. Even if I was doing a different fragrance combo, I just like to spray my hair with this cause it just gave me that tropical goddess sweet type of vibe. And the little bags that they come in, it just makes it so easy so that even if you don't want to bring a whole bunch of toiletries, you can just grab one of these and have your basics covered so that you have your shower gel, you have your body mist, and you have your moisturizer. So yeah, I went through the I went through the body butter like super super quick. So I just had this as my backup, but I always keep these little pouches afterwards because they're just bomb to travel with. Like after I empty these, I'll probably keep this to like throw my jewelry in or something for my trips and things like that. So yeah, highly recommend these and. I cannot wait to smell the Beige Floor one because I don't know why. I think I just stayed away from that one for a really long time because everyone always told me that it just smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. And I'm just like, I already know what that smells like. Like I want something tropical. So I don't know. I got it. We'll see how I feel about it and I'll update y'all. But this one definitely is a summer favorite to a little bit of like skincare favorites and things like that. So I have two SPFs that I really am loving and am totally obsessed with. The first one is the Super Goop Glow Screen. Y'all, I have already gone through one of these. You will see one in my next empties video. But this is in the shade Golden Hour and this is an SPF 40. Um, in the summer, y'all, I personally would just recommend that you have at least an SPF 40 on at all times, right? Because technically SPF 30s, um, they just don't, they're not really effective when you are directly in the sun. So I definitely recommend like an SPF 40 or higher if you can. I try to opt for SPF 50s if I know I'm going to be directly in the sun. But this glow screen, y'all, I love because it literally makes my skin just look glowy and shimmery and it's not like a glittery cast or anything but it just makes my skin look like it has a nice healthy glow and i don't have to put on makeup so sometimes i will just like put this on 
and I might do like a little bit of setting powder just to set it in place because I will say that this does have the tendency to transfer if you don't completely blend it in. And when I tell y'all, I would just have the most radiant natural finish and natural glow. It also is bomb underneath makeup. Like it almost makes it look like your skin has a filter on it and then you just have the SPF mixed in. So it's just an added bonus girl. So I highly recommend this. I love Supergoop's sunscreens anyway, but I don't know why it took me so long to try the glow screen. I think because every time I wanted to try it, they did not have the tinted version that I wanted. They only had the lighter one. And I've just been scarred for life from having sunscreens that are too light for me. So I really did not want to try it until I could get my right shade. And I finally did. So yeah, again, the shade that I use is Sunset. It just gives me a nice kind of bronze glow. And they are they also do have um, a darker shade now. I think it's called Golden Hour, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. But yeah, either way, girl, I have a link and y'all can find the right shade for you. I'm sorry, y'all. I lied. My shade is actually Golden Hour. The darker shade is Sunset. I got them confused. My bad. Now, when I am not in the mood for anything tinted or I just want something on my bare skin, um, I have been loving this Eucerin Age Defense SPF 50 with Hyaluronic Acid. Y'all, as much as I love my beloved Black Girl Sunscreen, I really don't wear it all that often in the summer unless I'm just going to stay in the house because, again, the formula that I like the most from them is only SPF 30. I don't like the matte, I don't like the hybrid, like I don't like the spray. I only like the original Black Girl Sunscreen because it just has this nice kind of, it's a little bit heavier on like the oil, but I just find it gives my face the best, most beautiful, you know, lustrous glow and it doesn't dry my skin out. But like I told you guys, in the summer, I do try to opt for SPF 50 and up, SPF 40 and up, because I deal with a lot of hyperpigmentation. So with all of the actives that I use in my skincare in order to continue to make them effective and not reverse what I'm fixing, I have to make sure I am protecting my skin in the sun. So I love this because the formula of this, not only is it an SPF 50, it does not irritate my skin. It does not make me break out. It does not clog my pores. It doesn't like get in my eyes and make my eyes burn, which I notice with a lot of SPF 40s and up. Um, because that glow screen, girl, if you do not make sure it's rubbed in and you don't keep it away from your eyes, it will absolutely do that. So y'all just, I'm just throwing that out there. Make sure you rub that joint in, okay? And you do not get it around your eyes. But this one, I don't have that problem with. Um, and it also reminds me a lot of the formula and the consistency of the Black Girl Sunscreen. It's just not as oily as the Black Girl Sunscreen, I would say. But yeah, I don't find that my skin is oily or anything after this. Like it blends in really well. I can apply this multiple times a day without my skin feeling greasy. Um, but I would say, you guys, after about two like reapplications of sunscreen, you do probably want to like just wipe it off and then reapply it because otherwise it just gets caked up and you probably will break out. But yeah, I've really been enjoying this one for the days where I don't want anything tinted and I just want something that makes my skin feel like there isn't anything on, but I still want to feel protected. So yeah. <sighs> okay, y'all, we almost done. We almost done. I know I told y'all this was just so much. But yeah, okay, so the next thing, this is something that I hauled recently or a couple of months ago that I finally started to use and y'all, first of all, let me show y'all how much I've used, right? I know that doesn't look like a lot, but when I tell y'all this stuff goes such a long way and this is a, this is 1.7 fluid ounce, which it, with a, when it comes to a moisturizing cream, that's actually a lot. This is the Sunday Riley CEO After Glow Gel Cream. Y'all, first of all, I told you guys in my haul when I got this, I, I got this because I saw um, Simply Sunny, I think is her name on here. She was talking about this, but I didn't realize till after the fact, I actually didn't even get the right one. Like she has the regular night cream. This is actually the brightening vitamin C cream. So this is more of like the gel based texture. So I didn't even realize I had gotten the wrong one until past my return period. But honestly, I was like, I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna use it and see y'all. When I tell you, I love this. You do have to get past the smell because I'm really not always like, I don't typically like my skincare to be scented, but this legit smells like oranges. <laughs> like it smells like the most 
like they literally extract the vitamin C right out of the orange and it does fade after a few minutes after you fully rub it into your skin so it doesn't irritate me or anything but y'all this gives my skin the most luminous radiant glow like literally when I wash my face in the morning because this is the moisturizer that I use during the day my skin really enjoys vitamin C in the daytime for whatever reason so I try to use a vitamin C based moisturizer in the day and then like something with retinol or actives or whatever at night but yeah this brightens my face it just makes me look like alive and awake and moisturized and this formula it literally just glides on like it almost is kind of just like this cooling sensation like I don't know girl but the fact that it's a gel texture goes on so flawlessly so smooth my skin literally feels quenched the moment that I put this on y'all she's pricey but I promise you because one other Sunday Riley item I wanted to talk about in here but I'm gonna have to just talk about it in my empties because I emptied it and this is already super super long but y'all this is I'm just I'm just obsessed 100% worth the freaking money these like sunday riley prices are expensive but now that i have used some 100 percent worth the price and yeah i definitely recommend you guys pick this up i want to say you can pick up a small sample size or a mini size from sephora i'm not sure i will have a link so you guys can check it out and see um just know if you are looking for this one make sure you click on the brightening gel cream and not the like regular i think it's like a night cream or something like that i don't know if it's labeled night cream but there's two different vitamin c creams so just make sure you are clicking on this one so it's actually an unopened box because it's that serious for me that i have to have a backup when i run out of the other one that's in my bathroom right now but this is the onyx and rose overnight it overnight sleeping mask i feel like i may have speak speaking about this on my channel before i'm not sure i may not but y'all when i tell you first of all this is another cbd product from onyx and rose a lot of people don't know that they have skincare products and their skincare products are bomb i've literally used all of them this is just my personal favorite skincare item from them at the moment because i've told you guys before i really do like to use super moisturizing like night creams in the summer specifically because after all the sunscreen the actives being in the sun in general like your skin is i feel so much more stressed in the summer at least my skin is so i try to make sure i have something super moisturizing and super super like just rejuvenating for my skin so not only does this have 70 milligrams of cbd in it but it also plumps and hydrates your skin i want to say there's hyaluronic acid in here i can't remember the actual like all of the ingredients but there is um microalgae there is hemp extract rice bran like there's just a whole bunch of stuff in here y'all and when i tell y'all again this is another one of those night creams that just feels like a drink of water for my skin like i remember one time i was putting this on like in front of my mom and she was like yo what are you putting on your skin it looks so good and literally all i had put on was just this like it's an overnight mask when i tell you a little goes a long way as soon as you put it on your skin is like glowing and then when you wake up your skin has that same glow like sometimes when i wake up in the morning i don't even be wanting to wash my face <laughs> because i had put this on the night before um and this is another 1.7 fluid ounce container so I probably can open it so I can show y'all what the actual container looks like. I just didn't feel like getting the one that was in my bathroom because it's already been used. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's really pretty packaging. It just kind of has like this, you know, soft, dreamy, nighttime packaging. It's just really beautiful. So yeah, y'all know I rave about Onyx and Rose. But again, I will have this in my description box as well as my discount code. So you guys can save some money if you want to try some of their skincare products as the rest of these items are actually body care items thank god i did also forget to grab one thing so i just want to briefly talk about that for a second and i'll just put a picture of it on the side but i have also been loving the charlotte tilbury flawless filter that thing has been my go-to this summer i am definitely when it comes to summer makeup y'all i am so low maintenance i will usually go for a skin tint and a little bit of setting powder and some mascara a little bit of a highlighter you know what i'm saying like i really don't feel like doing a full-on beat in the summer because it's already so hot so that's why i really like for my sunscreens to have a little bit of a tint or i will go for a, a skin tint um and just maybe top it off with some blush or some bronzer or something like that 
So yeah, I usually don't wear foundation in the summer. Y'all, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Listen, I know the e.l.f. camo dupe is out there and it's world's cheaper, but I have tried both y'all. And honestly, I much prefer, this is like one of the few times where I much prefer splurging on the actual thing instead of the dupe because something about that Charlotte Tilbury one literally blurs out everything. Your skin looks healthy. You can mix it with foundation if you want. You can wear it by itself. I sometimes combine it with like a skin tint or my tinted, um, my super goop. Girl, my skin be looking like just radiant. Like when I was in Miami, I really just did not want to do a full beat unless we were going out for the night. So when we were like on the boat and just out during the day on the beach, like that was the vibes. And I just looked sun-kissed. I looked radiant. It just had like kind of this glowing from within kind of vibe. So y'all, I absolutely love that stuff. I'm actually about to be out of it. Um, I will put the shades that I use in the description box i'm pretty sure i use like shades five and a half and six or something like that but i'm about to empty one so again i will be talking about that in my empties as well so yeah on to the last couple of body care items that i've been loving this is the raw sugar watermelon and fresh mint body wash now i know there's a lotion as well i have not gotten around to trying the lotion but honestly y'all the body wash yo this legit smells like a watermelon mojito legit like that's it, that's all I have to say. It's got this super sweet mint and juicy watermelon. Y'all, this has been so refreshing. Like if I was one of those people that could shower at my gym, cause I'm just, I'm a germaphobe. I have not gotten to that stage of my gym journey where I would shower at the gym. But if I did, this is what I would use, right? Cause I just feel so sweet and clean and refreshed after using this. And it just smells incredible. If you guys love watermelon scents, I definitely recommend you check this out. Like it is just so bomb. And yeah, this is a pretty huge container, but honestly, I can see myself finishing this this summer because I just love how this smells, y'all. So now yeah. onto some moisturizers and then we will be done, y'all. So this is the Vaseline Cocoa Little Glow. Um, now, y'all, I will have this linked because you can get this on Amazon, but if you can find these at Dollar Tree, definitely pick them up from dollar tree this is one that i have that hasn't been open but when i tell y'all like last summer i stocked up on these so i haven't needed to go and get any more so i don't know if dollar tree is still even selling them like the past couple of times that i have gone in there i have not seen any of these i've only seen the regular dove ones and honestly i'm not the biggest fan of the little dove ones in this container because i feel like they just smell too soapy and they're a lot harder to rub in but this one the cocoa glow it smells so good like i love the smell of cocoa butter anyway but it also has these light little shimmery crystals in it and the best part is it literally fits in like an evening bag or if you're going if you're doing like a carry-on or something like that like a little bit of this goes a long way y'all so when i would take these with me on my trips like i would take this and like the little tiny sol de janeiro boom boom cream I would not need to bring a full size bottle of lotion because between those two and them two layered together, baby, girl, listen, you, I'm talking about glowing, moisturized, smelling good. And it has just this very sweet cocoa butter smell. So again, I would absolutely stock up on these at your local Dollar Tree if you can find them. But if not, girl, they are sold on Amazon and I would still highly recommend paying $5 for one. I think it's like four or $5 on Amazon versus one dollar if you find it at dollar tree but yeah i just love these you can also get this lotion in just like the full size pump from target but i just like the concept of these because they're super super tiny and they can fit in your bag and honestly you get a lot for what's in here this is actually two and a half fluid ounces so like i said a little bit goes a long way and you also get a lot in here so the next little lotion it actually matches my outfit like Come on, for real? Like really? Yeah, okay. So this is the Hemp's mashup. This is the Sweet and Silky. I feel like I did a layering combo with this last summer, like in a little short or something. But y'all know I have an obsession with Hemp's products. I love Hemp's. I pretty much collect their lotions at this point. And this is the Yuzu and Starfruit and Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon mashup. Y'all know I just recently talked about the Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon um, in my last favorites video, I think. So 
obviously this was going to be a favorite because that one is like one of my obsessions every summer but this one with the inclusion of the yuzu and star fruit it kind of balances out the sweetness because i've said before i do feel like the sweet pineapple and honey melon can be super super sweet so if you felt like that one was too sweet this one is actually really good to try because it kind of balances it out with that star fruit and it kind of adds like this sweet citrus note so it's not so like artificially sweet but y'all this just smells so good like it's just one of those smells you smell it and you feel happy right like i just automatically get that with citrus type of scents but you add in the pineapple the honey melon so it's sweet and citrusy at the same time and it just reminds me of summer so this is a fragrance this is a lotion this particular one was limited edition but i was able to find it on amazon so again i will have it linked um but i know that sometimes you can still find this collection in like tj maxx or marshall so i would check your local one there as well just in case because you could save a few more dollars but if you don't have one of those in your area girl i will have it linked for y'all to check out on amazon but yeah i absolutely love this stuff y'all like between this one and the sweet pineapple and honey melon just the regular pineapple and honey melon i just love these like they just give me all the tropical juicy fruity vibes and i loved layering this with my bdk passessoir girl i was just smelling like a tropical fruit basket okay so yeah that is the hemp mashups sweet and silky not to mention obviously super moisturizing without feeling sticky and just feeling weighted down because with certain with the summertime i don't like lotions that are too sticky and take forever to rub in so yeah that was another reason why i absolutely love this. last lotion the last lotion i know i'm overloading you guys but these are legit things that i've been using every day so this is the cantu rich moisture uh this is the shea butter one there is also a coconut oil one as well that i really enjoy but i've just been using this one the most as you guys can see it's about halfway done um this is another one of those lotions that i feel like was super moisturizing i'm putting some on now <laughs> um without like having that sticky feeling like y'all yeah, look at how fast it's actually absorbing into my skin and it just has this very sweet but clean smell to it so this is sold at target um like i said there's this one and then there's the coconut oil one as well i just love not only the consistency of this but how it just feels smooth and like lightweight on my skin and those are the types of lotions that i really like in the summer i try not to do a whole lot of body butters in the summer just because they usually end up being a little bit too thick when i'm mixing in body oils and things like that so i just love to opt for <laughs> lotions in the summertime but y'all like see like it doesn't have that weird film it literally just leaves my hands feeling super soft super moisturized and it just smells really good it just smells like shea butter like i don't know i'm one of those people i love the smell of shea butter and cocoa butter so if you are if you are like me you will absolutely love this lotion um but if not you might want to try the coconut oil one because i really like that one too i just feel like this one just smells a lot sweeter and i'm probably gonna be finishing this soon because i've literally been using this like every day mixed with everything so yeah that is the cantu skin therapy nourishing rich moisture um body lotion. all right you guys that is it for this very very massive gigantic summer i'm about to say summer empties oh girl okay summer favorites thank you guys so much for watching do not forget to subscribe girl do not forget to subscribe i feel like i had to start back saying that because i'm still having a lot of returning viewers who are not subscribed so girl do not forget to hit that red subscribe button stay tuned for my next few summer videos that i have coming as well as my other content check out some of my more recent posts as well and i will see you guys in my next video bye